The Kremlin has always used natural gas as a political weapon. For years, Russia has been making the EU dependent on Russian gas. By the end of 2021, Russia had already limited the piping of its gas to underground storage in Europe. Back then, Russia was getting ready to invade Ukraine. It aimed at making Europe more vulnerable. However, when Russia invaded Ukraine, Europe struck back with sanctions against the aggressor. And then the Kremlin started using energy as a tool in a massive blackmail campaign against Europe. That the Kremlin uses fossil fuels to try to blackmail us. This is something the European Commission has been preparing for in close coordination and solidarity with member states and international partners. In April, Russia cut off gas supplies to Poland and Bulgaria. In May, Gazprom reduced the amount of gas transported to Europe through Ukraine. In June, Gazprom lowered gas deliveries through Nord Stream 1. Gazprom just smutly zagazuje ланцюг, який дуже довго намагалися закувати Європу. І це ще один аргумент на користь того, що Європа вже зараз має переходити до життя без російського газу. Не повинно бути цієї залежності. Europe has taken steps to get rid of its dangerous dependency on Russia's energy resources. The EU has negotiated gas delivery deals with Israel and Egypt. Norway's export of gas to the EU increased significantly as well. For the first time in history, the US sold Europe more gas than Russia did. Ukraine, with Europe's largest gas reserves in its territory, has offered its capacities for European consumers to stock up on gas for the winter. Europe will get rid of its dependency on Russian gas and will become more unified and modernized. Europe can stop Russia.